I forget who asked me, but they asked me when the tree started to show yellow flowers again to bring it back and include it in a video. This is the way, so this is my favorite, one of my kind of favorite tree over here looks here when it's really it full of yellow flowers. Have flowers. Life is good every month. And then they go away and then they come back again. Cool tree. Yellow and green is becoming two of my favorite colors to go together. Hey there, guys. I know we're talking about going carnivore in Thailand, but life is good. And part of being able to go going carnivore in Thailand is having the ability to be free, to be a sovereign individual. And Eating has to be a part of that freedom. Freedom to choose. Financial freedom to afford to eat what you want and when you want. Retiring over here in Thailand with beautiful things around me. You can see Noi has been very busy in the background, bringing all these plants and flowers and replanting them in slightly bigger containers and lining the pool area with them, which I get to enjoy every day. I'm feeling great. Uh, I'll pose this question to you. Noi started, she bought some soda water, like Schweppes soda water. And she puts a lemon and a lime cut up in it and over ice, and it's pretty darn good. Just lemon and ice and soda water. What do you think about that, carnivore-wise? The next thing I want to ask you is this. And I'd like some help with the comments on this. What is your definition of freedom? Seriously. What is your definition of freedom? What is your definition of sovereignty? What is your definition of success? As we get older in life, I'm not sure if that takes on more or less significance. For me, I think it's more. But sometimes thinking about some of the more intellectual things helps me just put in perspective life. And I'll bring up another story that was told to me or that I was reminded of in my memories. Back when I was about 30 and I was doing a lot of piloting, flying my planes around and having fun. I decided I wanted to learn how to fly gliders. Now, a glider is a small plane that has an excellent lift to drag ratio and it has no motor. It literally is constantly descending and going forward because if you pull the nose up, you'll climb but you'll slow down to a point where it would fall. So you have to descend and go forward. So hopefully in a glider, 
you go a long way forward for a slow descent. Well, they tow these planes behind another plane and they tow them up to like 10,000 feet in the air, two miles up. And then you release the tow rope and you just float around in the air. And it's eerily quiet most of the time. You, you hear the air go by, but to be honest, most of the time, your airspeed's very, very slow, like 35 miles an hour. Well, when they tow you up, they tow you a distance away from the airport. And one of the first things you're taught in, in becoming a licensed pilot to fly gliders is Rule number one, the purpose of flying a glider is to run out of altitude and airspeed at the same exact time that you're over the place you intend on landing. Hopefully a runway and not somebody's backyard or some forest where there's no place to land. So the entire intent from the very beginning is run out of altitude and run out of airspeed over a runway and then safely land. Well, this reminds us reminded me of my thoughts on die broke, die with zero. Because it's all about having that good flight. It's all about having that fun while you're flying. And if you die with a huge bank account, I shouldn't say bank account because I don't use banks much anymore. If you die with a huge Bitcoin account and financial wealth, then you didn't spend any money on having good experiences? Is that really what it is? Isn't it more likely that your trip should be to try to run out of health and breath and money all at the same time. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who have children who think that for some reason it is your obligation To leave your children with substantial wealth. You die and you give them a big check. And they'll love you forever. Well, I don't know if I buy that anymore or not. I really don't know. Because sometimes they have to choose their own path to freedom and sovereignty. And happiness. And not just wait around. I'm not sure about that. I really am not. You know, I'm, I'm open minded. But. I just wanted to relay a little bit of a story to, to y'all because just like the glider pilot wants to run out of altitude and airspeed above the runway, 
I want to have a good flight full of experiences. And when it comes my time to settle down, well, I want to run out of breath. And I run, I'd like to be real close to running out of, of money in good times as well. If that doesn't work out, then, well, leave it to somebody who really cares. Um, I just got buzzed by a bug. <laughs> I hate bugs sometimes. Well, you, when you're around all this beautiful nature, what can you say? And that's the end.